there to play. Oh boy. Alrighty, welcome to Nancy Drew, Tomb of the Lost Queen, everyone. Ahoy, mateys. I got my syntax wrong there. <laughs> One of our favorite Nancy Drew games. I was pleasantly surprised when this won the poll. Yeah, uh, on that note, Julian and I were kind of living under a rock under the impression that this was a widely popular game. Turns out it's it kind not. of 50-50 split, which really surprised me. Uh, uh, it's not in my it's not in my top five or anything, but I thought this was a great game, and maybe it's because growing up I was always a sucker for ancient Egypt and yeah. that sort of a genre, if you will. And so this being an Nancy Drew game, I mean, it was right up my alley as a uh, fifteen year old. But excuse me while I adjust that. Yeah, I, I have fond memories of this game. I my fondest memory of Tomb of the Lost Queen, and probably the reason that I really really like it still today, is that. I, um, this was like one of the first games that I remember when they dropped the trailer for, and mm -hmm. I remember when they announced pre-orders for, and I remember when it first came out and I saw YouTube videos of it, and I didn't click on them because I wanted to play it myself. Mm -hmm. And so this is a game that I actually got to experience the hype in, which myself being a younger member of the Nancy Drew demographic, which let's be real, most of us are in our 30s at this point, <laughs> if you were still playing the Her Interactive games, uh, I'm only 20, uh, this game got to hold a special hype train place in my heart, so... Mine as well. Uh, but yes, the Discord was kind of uh, in flames when this game was winning the poll. So much so that they demanded a recount. So I put a second poll up. I, I would love to hear the theory or the rationale for why they dislike this game, but I think it's, I think it's fun. People say bad you puzzles, bad characters. That was the argument. Okay, first of all, no. The only thing that's bad, <laughs> and we ranked, I think, second worst, was music, okay? And that's yeah. only because it's repetitive. But Oh, boy. Fun game, not top five. Good. Well, I'd love to just jump right in, but there is one more thing that I think we should mention, and that is that recently I just wrapped up Pants Creek Killing, which was a lot of fun, and in that playthrough we implemented a face cam for the first time ever. Or at least I did. And so now we are attempting again a face cam for our first Nancy Drew playthrough. Yes, this is a first for me. Uh, and it may be the last, too, because turns out that having a face cam work for two people is a lot more difficult than we thought. If you've never seen our faces, by the way, don't worry, it's okay. We know we look exactly like you thought we would. <laughs> and so we're going to maybe roll with this for as long as we can, but TBH having to set up two sets of headphones to one computer, an audio splitter, and a camera that captures both of us is kind of a pain. So don't expect to face cam every episode because it just, it just might not work out. Um, but yes, I think that that's everything to say in the forward. Uh, we will be playing Master Sleuth, and we are Master. also abiding by the channel rule, which is that... So uh, we are just do self-torture if we fail something. <laughs> Any and all spoilers that we have to get in this playthrough are punished by some kind of spicy food, mm -hmm. usually peppers. And uh, sometimes we get through it without them. Basic task. I don't know about this game. Oh boy. 60 years ago, a violent I love this intro. Yeah. In the Is that papyrus font? Is that actually papyrus? <laughs> a Might British be. expedition set off. I can't tell. Finally finding Egypt's legendary lost queen. Hmm. The expedition never returned. The explorers were lost, presumed dead. For 60 years, the grisly tale of the cursed team remained the only proof of the tomb's existence. Hmm. Well, that's, that reminds me so much of Call of Duty. <laughs> <laughs> Jason Hudson, CIA, uh, Bay of Pigs, Cuba. <laughs> oh, oh, get inside. Oh my god, it's Fidel Castro! <laughs> <laughs> oh, random strike of lightning. Yeah, that happens sometimes when sand flies through the air. John, are you okay? I actually it does not does. look like he's up. okay. <laughs> I would go as far as to say he's. He's doing the gray court, right? Actually. <laughs> Hey, he's actually doing Nancy, the Great Court right before. Oh my right? gosh, Great Court right is doing yeah. John Boyle. Exactly. The crew left after the storm. They kept talking about the old team that disappeared, and then they were gone. Oh, who cares? I'm just glad you're okay. About that. <gasps> what? The docs here say there's reason to believe I was attacked. Nancy, you're the only one I can trust now. I need you to be my eyes and ears until I can get out of here. <laughs> 
But I just came here to job shadow you. Are you sure? Will you be coming back? As soon as they release me. <laughs> Until then, keep me updated on what you're seeing. I've got some notes in my bunk area. Get caught up to speed. Keep everything you find between you and me. The less you seem to know, the safer you'll be. Got it. I'll see if I can prove whose tomb this is and find out who attacked you. And just like that, we've got our mission statement. I'll mm -hmm. let you go. Bye. Gosh, I can only imagine how accomplished Nancy's resume must be. Yeah, actually. Like, how I'm, old is she at this point? I'm like an intern here at this Egyptian hieroglyphic ex excavation site. And <laughs> Dude, she could like, just like go right to any college she wants with the work any, any job. Like imagine Honestly, like... Yeah. List of people I've put behind bars. <laughs> oh, my goodness. She would be an interesting criminal justice major. Worked with a dozen different agencies and all this stuff. So, this is the uh, the main tent, though, where the remains of the archaeological dig meet. Uh, there's one person in here. Is it this bunk? It is. Mm -hmm. but let's speak with Lily. Nancy, you decided to stay? Of course. Good. We need all the help we can get. Look, this is awkward. What's that? Professor Boyle is gone, and I have to say this to keep things from getting awkward, but look, I'm assuming the authority in the time being. Oh, okay. Are you okay. sure everyone here agrees sure. to that? I just meant Sick. the American team, which is just you. Oh, okay, great. So let's go ahead and deny her immediately. I yeah, can take I care would. of myself. <laughs> I'm sure you can, but can you take care of a site that's thousands of years old? I'll answer that for you. No, oh, and you, you can. cannot. Is the that site's necessary? not part of the American team either. Do we really need someone in charge? Yes, it is, but it shouldn't affect you all that much. I'm not going to go on a power trip or anything crazy. Trust you already me. have. <laughs> I just don't want the site to fall into chaos. I'm working entirely out of Professor Boyle's playbook. Oh my gosh. We've, not, we've met her for 15 seconds, and she comes off as so unlikable already. Yeah, it's kind of <laughs> that, that stare, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, it just rubs me the wrong way. Did you know Professor Boyle was attacked? At least that's what the doctors think. Who told you that? He did. Don't worry. He's probably just all turned around from the injury. Okay, we found the attack. There's nothing to worry about. <laughs> just her change of tone. Did you see what happened to Professor Boyle? I couldn't see a thing. I couldn't keep my eyes open for a second. A likely story. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. And we are not going to start with this. That is uh -huh. Bye. That is my biggest critique of the start of this game is uh getting roped into that dialogue option can be a uh, come <laughs> on a subsequent playthrough. Yeah, there should be a warning that's like, warning, clicking this dialogue option will result in a 30 minute cutscene. <laughs> Basically. So, uh, there's a lot of people's bunks in here. In due time, we should be able to explore all of them, but to my understanding, most of these we will just get yelled at for looking into. This is Nancy's, actually. Mm -hmm. And if you look here, we got a cameo from- Professor Beatrice Hotchkiss. Yeah, boy. B-H, uh, G, wait, no. What? What are you doing? BGWH, Beatrice Gertrude Winifred Hotchkiss, your boy. <laughs> and she. <laughs> Dear Mandy. You were so keen on my book about Marie Antoinette. That's so long ago. Why wouldn't she say anything about the Crystal Skull book? Wow, dropped her f f phone number. Yeah, really. That's that, That's not okay, Hotchkiss. Do you know how old Nancy is? <laughs> you like to learn more about them. Uh, so, yes, she did do a book on the lost queens of Egypt by Professor Beatrice Hotchkiss. And we will probably be referring to this. A good bit. This game has a good bit of reading in it. Nefertari. Nefertari. That's who we're going to be working with most. Oh, ne wait, 19th century? Dynasty, not century. Oh, yes. Sorry. <laughs> there's a, there's a little difference. That would have been a that. major difference. <laughs> yeah, so this was 1200 to, you know, 1279 to 1255 BC. I forget that when it's BC, the numbers go backwards. That sometimes confuses me. <laughs> Time traveling ancient Egyptians. So it's. Uh. Nefertari, not to be confused with Nefertiti, we'll do a quick read on this, was the favored wife of the great pharaoh Ramses II. During his long reign, Ramses had many principal wives, but Nefertari was the first and beloved queen. Uh, she and Queen Tiye, I think, <laughs> were the only queens to be deified while they were still alive, which, that means become a god, right? To yes. be deified, yeah. Uh, so yeah, the small temple at Abu Simbel was built to honor her and the goddess Hathor. Statues that portray on the temple's facade are the same height as those of Ramses, indicating her high status. So basically, she and her husband Ramses were like really well off and a power couple, basically. But I'm assuming all this has to be true in the real life ancient Egyptian manga. Yes, but I'm not actually sure if Nefertari was real. I'm gonna have to look into that. 
But I, I know Ramsey's the second was real. Well, I mean, Cleopatra to the right. I mean, yeah. I, and there was Nefertiti on the previous page. Ptolemaic Dynasty. There's but, Anubis. I, I mean, I know there's so much, like, truth in this game. I'm just wondering if anything was fabricated by her interactive. Because I'm a bit something. negligent. But really, the headline here is that of the items originally placed within to accompany Nefertari in the afterlife, only a portion of a mummy and a few broken pieces remained. I think, if anything, that is true, is that grave robbers supposedly got to Nefertari before any Egyptologists could. Sad. Yeah. <sighs> oh, oh boy. here's our suitcase. That looks like some stuff we can pick up. Do we have this now or later? Later. Later. We'll save. It'll taste better. Uh, these are some fans, fans I'm guessing. I'm presuming. <laughs> Great. I could use this to translate the hieroglyphs. But we are not going to, though. <laughs> uh, Egyptian hieroglyphs to English and... Is this real? Are there actually books that are just like straight up? There's, there's no way. <laughs> I mean, well, I mean, now that there's the Rosetta Stone, there are like easy ways to translate them, but I don't know. I fr there's like a rule to hieroglyphs work that there's not actually like an alphabet. Yeah, it's not alphabetic. It's it's all literally just, just like pictures that mean things. Symbolic and subjective. Yeah, I mean, there's some that are like you know. Whoa, you cannot go back there. All right. I'm looking for Here Professor comes Boyle's notes. Commander His notes Lily. Are off limits. All right. He wants me to have them. Call him if you don't believe me. I will. I'll call him. Trust right me. now. Literally speak to my manager, Lily. I'll let you go. See you. She does give off extreme Karen vibes. <laughs> we say this lovingly. Yes. To all the Karens out there. I'm sure there are plenty. Uh, here's John Boyle's notes. Surely none of these will be torn off. Part or... of John's notes are missing. Oh, no. <laughs> that doesn't seem right. I would start with the control freak next door. <laughs> well, we should actually have a quick look at these. So he was actually deciphering some... Uh, the same race can be represented with different hieroglyphics. Take the name Pare Herwinemeth. Uh, this is like... No. Raise with his strong arm. <laughs> this is exactly how I mess up in this game. I, I just... There's so many things going on here that it's difficult to know. So, Pa, Ray, Hair, Wenemeth. Like, you have me with Pa is the duck. Ray is, I don't know, the gong. Hair is the head. <laughs> but then why is this Wenemeth and what does that mean? It's like... <laughs> Gary the snail, but without his shell, and some dude it's with a like a slug, broken arm. Good sir, is it a slug? Maybe yes, it's a or snake. A snake. It's with probably a snake. a snake with Shrek ears. Yes, yes that's I'd... more reasonable. <laughs> and and then there's like this at the end. This is a uh, uh, kind of like the punctuation that indicates a royal son, royal daughter. How much of this is even real? Well, that's what, that's what I was saying. Like, how yeah. much did her interactive, like, bake into this game? I'm sure that a lot of these hobbies are real. You know, someone watching this has at least a passion for a hobby in I know, Egyptology. and we're probably, like, insulting them in this Let's Play. No, 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 I'm asking you, please comment down below how much of this is at all accurate, because I would just love to know from my own knowledge. Um, I don't want to read all of this, because this game is a little heavy on the reading. But also, in every playthrough I've done of this, I feel like I kind of skimmed the reading. So we'll just read to Let's the back. down the rest of the inscription. If I can find that, I'll be on the path to the greatest discovery since the Tutankhamun. Tutankhamun. And, and then Tutankhamun. another big clue. And then, of course, they come <laughs> off right there. <laughs> yeah, of course they leave that sentence. Uh, can we go in his chest? We can. Uh, hey, are those Siggies? He's got that ma and pa. No, those are matches. <laughs> dental. Probably. Matches or dental floss? Mm -hmm. But he's got that ma and pa's uh, glowing toothpaste. Wait, what's that? A lot. Oh, they're cigarettes. Zippo. <laughs> he's got a Zippo. And, of course, one more cool-ass cameo. Beach Hill Museum. Now oh, that this, is cool. Franklin Rose! Nancy gets around. It's like he says, she couldn't get any job she wants. Dear John, I heard at the recent Seriously. Paris and Williams Archaeological Gala that you are still looking for the perfect applicant to your round your team for the upcoming dig. I am writing to recommend Nancy Drew as a candidate for consideration. Worked for us as the deputy curator in Beach Hill, where her observational skills and attention to detail provided... An invaluable contribution to the successful opening of our exhibit, Finding the Maya, A Lost Civilization Speaks. Feel free to contact me if you have questions. Regards, Franklin Rose. Mm -hmm. That's so, a great world-building callback. I do love that. It connects the two archaeology games. Mm -hmm. If you've never played Game 6, Secret of Scarlet Hand, don't. I'm <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Dude, that was actually a fun fact. When Jamie asked me when I got back, like, what games are you feeling? I was like, for some reason, I am really feeling Scarlet Hand right now. Yeah, but I we have recently done that enough times that it wouldn't make sense to revisit it. Yeah, we've already done a Scarlet Hand playthrough as of, like, I don't know, a year ago at this point. So maybe we'll do a stream one of these nights, because you got to love that archaeology grind. Drink oh, some water. Did we go for the stupidest death of no. Nancy Drew? Not, not yet. <sighs> Eventually. Drink it while it's here. Hmm. I mean, I mean, you know, a lot of times Nancy Drew games can have 
graphical limits to how good they look. But I have zero complaints here. This is perfect. I well, just believe it's such a, like, it's such it's such a small environment. So it, they yeah, were but able it's to... it's desert. Like, look out to the horizon. Yeah, I know. Well, it's easy to do. It's clean. But it's great. Yes. So before we go down into the actual tomb, which is uh oh, explored no, down I, there. I would have done the tent first. Yeah, I was gonna say we go to the tent first because there's some tools to pick up in here. Let's make sure there's no holes in any of the sides of this tent. Okay. Let's see. That's a puzzle, which I don't Ooh, know if I like that with. puzzle. Yeah, if you want to do it, we can. But I thought we'd kid ourselves out first. Oh, yeah. I, this has always been so satisfying because you just walk in here and you can pick up, like, 15 things. Literally everything. Is yeah. that an ammo box? No, I'm playing too much Fallout 4. No. Brush. Uh, brush. Unlocked. Pickaxe. Pick unlocked. unlocked. That's two things we're all ready. Anything? Uh, stolen artifacts. Unlocked. <laughs> Amulets found. This will be important later. Uh, there's, there's some more something things. here. Uh, oh, Jamie, use that pickaxe. Yes, I know. I, I thought I'd wait a little bit, but Nancy, <laughs> Easter egg unlocked. <laughs> Nancy's like just been hired, and it's like <laughs> already breaking pottery. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's. See. I don't think I've ever bothered to like read this. It's cute though. Uh, this is our map, isn't it? Yeah. So I think that's kind of like the Did we layout take that of with the us? tomb. No, you don't. Okay, but it, we have, we get a map somewhere, and we expand it as we go. Cause... Yeah, that's more like blueprints. Oh, here right. it is. Yeah. This looks like a map of the site. You took the words right out of my mouth, Nancy. All right, map. Map. Acquired. Map. Acquired. See, this is just such a good feeling. What's what's a game that, like, you don't find anything? Oh, you can get that. You can get that. Flashlight? Flashlight. Acquired. See, isn't this fun, guys? We can just pick up everything. <laughs> I feel like I'm getting ready for an archaeological dig. Yeah, don't you feel like a cop? Bird tablet. Stolen. Acquired. Ancient Egyptian art. <laughs> it just keeps going. Yeah. Coco Kringle trash. Oh, wait a second. Yeah, this is Sunny June's organization, isn't it? Yeah, don't miss moderator Sunny June's special repeat representation. Oh, those numbers don't seem important. No, not at all. This is, um... You can translate that. I bet I could translate that. Mighty is he who is the something of Ra. Judged is he by the ancestors of Ra. Oh, I had two of those words right. Fake fan. <laughs> okay, Julia, you can translate the next one. Okay, I got it. Um, this game, somewhat controversially, does allow you to quick skip translation puzzles. I don't know if we'll be doing that. Because, I mean, like... Come I on. I would, I'm in the mood for it, Jameson. All right. Let me add him. Oh, jeez, it's different in Senior. <laughs> oh, my gosh, it is bigger in Senior, isn't it? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, my... We've never done this game on no, Senior, have we? No, we have not. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay, that's a distinct okay. piece. You can find the thing. There might be some, some edits here. Holy guacamole! Did they really make a lot the, of pieces? This this isn't gonna be that bad, dude. And see, okay, flip that upside down. I can tell that that's yes. the bottom. Okay, yes, and I can't see next to it, dude. In in Maybe the other way. in senior detective, they're like, no, it's well, see, what the hell is this piece? Look at this. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> Just throw that out. No one will know it's missing. How did they even like break? Wait a minute. Are we way? missing a piece? I we can still solve I mean, the puzzle yeah. even if we are. Yeah. Sorry, stalling. Um, I think you're right that I need to set. Jeez. Do you want to just go to the tomb now, or do you want to do this now? Yeah, hey, I started it, so I have to finish it, sadly. I can respect that. To all the Tomb of the Lost Queen haters out there, I just have to ask, what about the puzzles isn't fun? Like, if anything, it's, it's an expansion. <laughs> Jimmy, I don't know if I would raise that question at this moment. Well, I mean, I would do this. Pass me the mouse. This is just like a good jigsaw puzzle. And if you've done it once already, it's not that hard. Okay. Because, like, I, I have the full image in my head, I think. Yeah, I do too. It's a nice little kitty cat. This has given me the strongest urge to go watch the old-school Brendan Fraser mummy movie. Oh, I think that connects to here somewhere, actually. Like, mm, maybe that? No. Never fear. Okay, now we can. What? Oh, <laughs> now it's a sailboat. Yeah, yeah it kind of yacht, is. actually. Okay. So this is the end. This is the end of it, and now we need, we need, a, we need a straight edge side. <laughs> I'm still thinking about that little Dorito piece there. <laughs> what are we gonna do with that? Yeah, no, it's actually <laughs> actually absurd. Okay, this is, this should be so obvious. What fits, oh wait, am I blind and deaf? Yep. Okay, that's good. 
Oh. oh. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you gotta speak. Okay, where's the jaggedy part? Uh, does this get incorporated ever? Or is this just like some... Oh, is it the top of that? Wait. <gasps> oh! Oh my oh, goodness. Now it connects? Yeah, that actually does make sense. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we are cooking, ladies and gentlemen. Mm -hmm. He looks like a little chocolate bunny from like an Easter basket. I mean, this probably? Oh, seriously? Oh wait, this has to go here. No? Lo yeah, yeah, just the lower. Okay. And then this we here. We are so back. <laughs> oh, boys. Um, Alright, we're not back anymore. There's a piece missing. Woo! I wonder where the rest of the amulet pieces were found in the tomb. Top three turquoise cats of all time. Can you imagine if, like Nancy said, there's a piece missing, and then you have to back up and just not solve it? I I would sue her interactive for now, emotional damages. Easy context for the miss. N thirteen E two. So that tells us that the place where this was found in the dig site, which we haven't even entered yet, is North 13E2. So at the far end mm. of the North Tunnel. And I actually put that together. Mm -hmm. So, how about we go ahead and stop talking about the tomb and actually go see it? This is a... Gosh, wouldn't it be so cool to like visit this easement as a tourist? Mm -hmm. To be here on the actual archaeological dig for it is crazy. This, ex this excavation is sponsored by Ghost Energy. <laughs> Well, uh, I don't think the ancient Egypt has left that there, so it looks like we have made some adjustments to the place. Is Mr. Bakum here? Yes, ah. he is. All right, let's go ahead and speak with the man. The anime oh. antagonist. You are still here, darling. Oh, you couldn't drag me away. <laughs> but uh, if you don't mind, I prefer Nancy. The suspects in this game look great. I the distinguished Dr. Bakum. I... It appears neither of us is going to get what we want. <laughs> so I must know, are you very brave? Or just very stupid. Oh, I forget how to answer this. I'm not afraid of a curse, if that's what you're getting at. It is. But you still haven't answered my question. Don't say you're very brave. I forget. He gets, like, really... Yeah. He's so, like, what the hell? Why do you think you're brave? <laughs> I, I love Abdullah. And I apparently he's a controversial character. There's a lot of people who say he's really annoying. He's just like Dwayne Powers 2 or something. <laughs> so Electric Boogaloo. Uh, I will go for either one or two. This one, it, like, makes the most sense. And this one's just, like, I like being cringe. inconspicuous. No, I like the cringe one. Let's be cringe. That's... But I feel like this one is, is more humble. Okay, fine. Well, no. You get the pick now. Uh, I want to be cringe. Fine. I guess you'll have to wait and see. This is the only good answer. He's wrong, Don't actually. Worry, <laughs> I will figure <laughs> you out. See, me and Mr. <laughs> Distinguished Ad Abdullah Bakum are on the same page here. Yeah, he's probably not even Ramses the Second. What are you working <laughs> on? This mural here. There is something very important hidden in this wall. I don't know if I can decode it in time. In time can for I what? Give, it a give me shot? 30 seconds. Maybe. No. You want to try the other mural up top? Yeah, sure. <laughs> sure. I need Put a few shame. tips for reading the hieroglyphs. A few tips? <laughs> yes. That's how I learned to read hieroglyphs. At first, they were inscrutable and mysterious. But then I got some tips. Just go look in your books. Mm hmm. What's going to happen now that there's been a major injury? Usually it means we are going to be shut down. So now, we work <laughs> so fast. now, so now we work fast. <laughs> yeah, and cause more accidents. What do you think about <laughs> Professor Boyle? He's lucky to be alive. It's a good thing professors have such thick skulls. Hmm. Did you two get along? Get along? I know him. I respect his work. So no. Were you okay with <laughs> Professor Boyle working the site with you? No. Why not? Hmm. When you are the best, like I am the best, oh my God. no one else can ever help. No, they only get in your way. But <laughs> Professor Boyle He's is so one of the fun. best archaeologists working today. He wouldn't That's, be getting in he your He reminds way. me of... One of the best. Craven. I am the best. Sort of. That's why this site is mine. Okay, Chief, anything you say. Have you made progress? Did you find anything to say whose tomb this is? I wish I could say we found the lost queen, but I don't know for sure yet. The answer is here. We may find the mummy, but if we do not crack this before they come to shut us down, we may never know who we have found. 
<laughs> Do you have any idea what that inscription means? Look at the hieroglyphs. They are not supposed to be riddles, and I still grappled with them, sometimes for years. The actual riddles, huh, forget it. That's why I am here, staring at this wall. I cannot think if I am not working. Hmm. I respect that. I'll let you go. See you later. I would like to try my hand. Ah, yes. The Lone Traveler eats guacamole alone. That's exactly what it was. It was a wonder that the Egyptians could import Never avocados. Enter where? <laughs> <laughs> I said I was essentially right. As to anyone who does not know the spell, he shall never enter. Sure. See, Abdullah, I got it. It took about five seconds. <laughs> <laughs> can you boast him right now? I think you can. Yes. No. no. That's too bad. What well, do you know about least. Lily? I've seen many like her. What does that mean? Ambitious, young, smart. The ones like that, I they achieve, this one. or they flame, flame out in, in a, a big. <laughs> that seems <laughs> dramatic. The world Nancy, if there's one word for Abdullah, it's dramatic. <laughs> I do not think this is a good thing. Lily, she is like a spinning top. She stands straight, but the slightest nudge, she will go ping, flying off in a crazy direction. I do not trust her. <laughs> then why did you choose her to be part of the dig? Someone I fully trust would never be able to surprise me. Uh-huh. That makes oh. a lot of sense. Well, now I kind of want to bring up this. I'll save it for later. Okay. There's more of the tune to explain. We'll have them in our back pocket. See you later. So, I've probably played this game four or five times all the way through, and I confess I still don't know in my head which tunnel leads where. Shovel unlocked. It's pretty difficult to, like... Oh, yeah, it is difficult. It's to like... at least in me to, like, memorize where's what. So, like, start by we'll going start by forward, I guess. Yeah. Actually, I think I do, I think this is the way to the cat. That yeah, if it's covered. right across from the entrance. So then. Well, I don't even know. This, this is where the cat was, was found. Ooh, let's go pickaxing things. This looks like something we could break. That crumbling I noise. Know. What if it just fractured all this? See, look at how beautiful this art is. Yeah. For like, imagine if this were real, I'd be like, dang, that's pretty beautiful. Too bad that the this ancient is Egyptians didn't exist. Where the other amulet pieces were found. All right, let's. Whoever excavated this did a very shoddy job. Just. Shot like a hold. melody in my head. <laughs> exactly. Okay, we've got that. Uh, so the cat feetsies are here. And is there anything else in this tunnel? Because there's some interesting stuff in the other two tunnels. I don't think so. Spotlight. I think there's actually like some optional hieroglyphs on the walls that you can walk past if you're not careful. Yeah, I faintly remember that. Well, let's go elsewhere. Okay, so this is to the right when you first enter. That is a paragraph and a half. Yeah. That jackal symbol is at the beginning and end of this passage. Oh boy. There must be something special about it. Do we want to solve this now? Because this will take a little bit. This isn't just dictionary hieroglyphs. Well, I don't think that it'll take long. That doesn't well. make any sense. Yes, it does. The Chloe and come to point act come what who? Whoop and not it's my Okay. Let's just let's just try. Um, what are we thinking? This is over in. Uh. Of it's of, because I, I remember. I actually. Oh, so you're cheating. You're using insider knowledge. <laughs> Fine. Don't ask me anything. Okay, I won't. Uh, we got two Fs here. Okay, what could it I was be? Wrong. Like taffy, probably. <laughs> yeah. <I don't laughs> let's let's save this for another time. There's still we've already done enough puzzles. Are you already frustrated? <laughs> no. Okay, where's it though? Come on. I think that's the... Yeah, I think so, too. Yeah, I, I recognize it's the the snail, the square, and the cat. Okay. Okay, you know, yeah, we can speed run this. Yes. Uh, that, what is this? Like, Heather or something? Heathen? Hoven? <laughs> Maybe we were wrong about the... What else could be the... And? Um... <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's the one. Try and. Is it possible this is an entirely different thing on... It actually could... Like a different... Because I remember the phrase like the four of Horus or the train of Horus or something. And I'm not seeing that phrase anymore. I know, I'm not either. Okay, but... Oh. Wow, this is kind of embarrassing. What? No. It had to be though, right? I... I... Oh, I think I, it's coming back to me, boys. 
Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Oh, yeah. Hither. Hither. Come. Okay, come ye hither. That's what the... Yeah. Is. See, we knew that. Just took us a minute to find out. See, that's like, come ye. 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 Kanye? We get banned on Twitter. <laughs> come ye hither. I don't remember. This is probably in, right? No, we've used it. Yeah, no, in. In. In the train. train of Horus. Of, of Horus. U.S. U.S., yeah. <laughs> Did you see that post? I need to find what is that? Who the oh my god. Sons of Horus Abdul ain't got crap on us. I was just trying to reference some copy pasta and you solved it. Wow. Come ye hither, gods in the train of Horus, and let the steps ascend. We are the four of Horus. I am the heir that sweeps up the Nile. I am the hunter who faces to greet the new day. Oh, I read that wrong. <laughs> I am in city protector of the south, I am the cry that soars toward the setting sun. Together, we the gods in the train of Horus guard the corners. Well, clearly, the Egyptians didn't have commas back then. <laughs> it's not read well. I just realized, like, what the clues in this passage mean, and now a puzzle that I've always struggled with makes so much sense. Oh, well, we'll get to that. It looks like the red scarab is missing. Oh, mm. fine. Impudent scarab. <laughs> hmm... This room's kind of scary. Yeah, actually. what's up with the floor? This it's room like is Minecraft kind of scaring me. Wait, where where it come from? Okay. No, that's what? Oh, you did. Okay. Thing on the wall. Thing on the door. These must be the queen's titles. Ooh. S. Oh, whoa! Like this is way different. Appears in the bottom row when the column contains only one title. Oh pirates. no! Shit. I need to rearrange the pieces so the bottom reveals the hidden message. Oh Jesus! I this is way different. Well, hold on. What if this is one of those things where, like, you can solve it in one go? Oh no, Julian! None of none no. of them are solid. Dude, I I see it, man. I mean, it's not possible. Headache. Now, wasn't it only five things? In junior mode? I, it honestly might have been, yeah. Five movable things. The way that this puzzle works is that you need to slide all these different hieroglyphs around so that on the bottom row here, there is only one symbol in each column. Then it spells something out along the bottom. However, on Junior Detective, some of these are sedentary and cannot be moved. Mm-hmm. And there's significantly less of them. Yeah. It's gonna be rough. So here's the first thing on... Oh, God. None of this is gonna work. This... <laughs> I... What? I don't know what to do. I I was smart because I thought I figured out like <laughs> something that would help us get one in, in a spot, but I didn't actually. Hold on, just let me think. This is gonna take some time. Do you think we could solve this now? It, it might be smart to actually call it maybe not an episode here, but to like come back when we're fresh brained and you have a tall can of ghost energy that you haven't yet consumed. Look, I'm not saying it's going to be easy. Wait, this. Look at this. That These two have to work like this. I can see that. Oh, does that mean that this slides in over here too? Since it can just be out of the way? Like, bring oh, it all wait. the way to the left. Yes, you're right. See, yeah. Uh, river, river, square, square. <laughs> semicircle, semicircle. So this is 100% correct on this side. Positive. Once that's established... That, if you're right about that, then that does clear up a lot. Look, so, look, this side of the board is fine. We're really close. It's actually... You know, I, I want these... Okay, hold on. I want these birds to be in the same. This needs to be here. Are those the same? They are the same bird, yeah. Yeah. Makes sense that they would be. You know what's really screwing me is this symbol. That's, that's harsh. Unless. Look at this, we have like three different. There might act, mm. That could be a huge clue actually. Hold on. That's not the jackal symbol from the first paragraph, is it? As in the symbol that appears at the beginning of the passage? No, stop. All right, let me, let me can I try something really quick? This is a suggestion. Dude, I'm just nervous here. This is my suggestion. All the way to the left. Oh, you, These dude, all come doing? over by one. Okay. 
You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Now you have that weird symbol taken care of. Mm-hmm. Because I feel like a, a unique symbol like that, that would be the start of the passage, wouldn't it? Yeah, maybe. But this is really annoying. Because we're so close. We'll we're... save it. <clears throat> we will we're... be taking a break from this puzzle and come back with fresh minds. 